The Alaskan wilderness is teeming with wildlife. Bears, moose, elk, and more call this region home. But beneath this vibrant ecosystem lies an extensive supply of rare metals, and thousands of acres of nature will need to be disturbed to access them. The White House is expected to say that's too high a price, despite the importance of these resources to the renewable energy transition. This supply is located in a remote region of the state. To get to it, a 211-mile-long industrial road must be built. It would cross hundreds of rivers and streams, as well as the tribal lands of several Alaska Native communities. Indigenous groups argue doing so would negatively impact the surrounding wildlife they rely on, saying caribou migration patterns would be thrown off and important salmon spawning streams affected. A permit to move forward and build the road was issued by the federal government during President Trump's final days in office. However, the current administration is now saying not so fast. An upcoming environmental analysis of the project from Biden's Interior Department will reportedly kill the proposed construction. But some argue these resources may actually need to be extracted for the good of the environment. That's because the metals found here are vital for building renewable energy infrastructure. 159 million pounds of copper and 199 million pounds of zinc sit within the site. Both materials are critical for the construction of green energy tech. Together, copper and zinc are two of the planet's top five most used metals, which is why tens of millions of dollars have already been spent to reach the deposits in Alaska. Should the Biden administration ultimately kill the project, a legal battle from companies trying to recoup some of those expenses may follow.